Welcome to this Tom's Tech Notes video. This is the first of five videos in playlist how to use Screen Recorder 4. The video should be watched in order from the playlist. Open the playlist by clicking the link in the video description. This is the first of five videos that show how to use Cyberlink Screen Recorder version 4. Screen Recorder records video and audio from all of a monitor, from video games, from an active window, or from a user-defined area on a monitor. And lastly, it will record from a connected device such as a webcam. Video overview, this video, briefly describes the main features of Screen Recorder. Video Quick Start shows how to record full screen on one of your monitors or a custom area on your desktop. We show recommended settings and we'll give tips for using a single monitor or multiple monitors. Video Record Webcam and Overlays shows how to add your webcam view to your recording and how to add overlays. As we show you how to record with the webcam and with your overlays, we'll also show you how to set up the scene using the preview window. The preview window is at lower left on the display. Video record games and apps will show you how to record video games that you're playing and We'll show you how to use the lock to app function to record an open app or an open folder. Video settings, we'll, we'll go through all the options that are available by clicking the settings gear wheel on the main menu. And we'll also explain options that are available by clicking icons on the main screen. Before we start showing you how to use Screen Recorder 4, let's do a quick review of all the items available on the main window. Click the icon at upper left to show the About screen. This will show the Screen Recorder version. It has a link to show other CyberLink products and a link to check for upgrades to Screen Recorder. Clicking here will check for updates or upgrades that are available for the version you're using. This will open your settings menu. This is the help screen that provides help. This will minimize the main window and this will close screen recorder. This will show or hide the preview window. This will show you your library, which will show recordings that you've saved with Screen Recorder. This will record full screen of a selected monitor. We'll see later how to select which monitor you want to record, if you have more than one. This will record a game. This records an active window. This lets you define an area on the screen you want to record, and this records a connected device. These vary depending on which type of recording you're doing. Right now it's showing, for recording full screen, it's showing you the recording, the resolution of the monitor, and uh, the default frame rate that it will record at, which is 30 frames a second. This will toggle the mouse recording feature where it, it shows you where you've clicked the mouse button and this specifies the color you want shown. This turns on and off the webcam display. It's shown right here. If you hover over it, it will show the webcam display. This is just a thumbnail of it. This turns on and off the microphone. This selects the microphone. We'll see all these things later. 
This shows or hides overlays. And this will allow you to manage the overlays that you've um, input into Screen Recorder. You can set a time limit for recordings. It'll automatically stop recording when the specified time has elapsed. This will start recording by Screen Recorder. Once you've started it, it does a countdown, shows you the hotkeys that are available. Then if you click it again, it will pause the recording. If you click here, it will save the recording. And this shows you the elapsed time of the current recording. This will take a snapshot of the current recording. Video Quick Start, the next video in this playlist, will show how to record full screen and how to record a custom area on the screen. As we show you how to do it, we'll give you recommended settings to use for that type recording. If you enjoyed this Tom's Tech Notes video, please like it and please leave a comment. To watch my other videos or to read many computer help articles, please visit my YouTube channel or my website at the URLs shown here. There are also links in the video description. When thumbnails appear, click the thumbnail at upper left to open the playlist containing this video. Click at lower left to watch a video especially recommended for you. Click my photo to visit the Tom's Tech Notes YouTube channel. To subscribe, click the red button. If you don't see the red button, hover over my photo to show it.